What's up, Rams, and welcome back to the Rams and Wayne Show. And today, we're outside getting that nice vitamin D. Or is it C? I don't know. Don't quote me on this. But for today's news, you can use announcements. I wanted to talk about Teachers Appreciation Week. Our teachers have been through so much this week. Last week, the school year, last school year before they even knew us. We need to show some type of appreciation. So we can send them a card, send them a nice email. I know I sent my history teacher, Miss Brown, a card. Well, an e-card. So it was nice to hear her just happy. And also, I want to talk about something for you all students. There's this program in our school called AVID. AVID is a college enrichment program which teaches you about different colleges and it helps you prepare yourself for college and stay organized. Now, you may be wondering, okay, what else does it help you with? Well, besides teaching you about different colleges again it gives you different organizational skills i'm personally an avid and i can't even imagine what my school year will be like without avid i'm going to the school next year without avid and i'm just like i hope i can stay organized this year avid has taught me that i have to adapt to my surroundings that i may have to change my style on how i learn on how i study how i manage my time a little bit differently to match with my day-to-day -day life AVID is a great opportunity, and I hope you all consider joining it when the time comes. So, this concludes the new you can use announcements, and I hope you all have a wonderful Rams day. Bye. Fun facts for today. Did you know that the fastest gust of wind ever recorded on Earth was 253 miles per hour? The next one fact is that hot water will turn into ice faster than cold water. The last one fact is that the best place in the world to see a rainbow is in Hawaii. I hope you guys found these fun facts interesting, and I'll see you later. Bye! Hey Rams, happy Friday, and welcome back to Cooper Corner. Today we will be talking about Princeton University. Princeton University is an Ivy League research school located in Princeton, New Jersey. They have an acceptance rate of 98% and a graduation rate of 67%. Some of their popular majors are social sciences, engineering, in biological and biomedical sciences. They're known for having a tight-knit student community, groundbreaking research, and top quality teaching and faculty. They also have a tuition of 52800 That's all for today's Cooper Corner and have an amazing weekend. This is Mrs. Charlton and today's DIY project is balloon twisting. I am a balloon twister in my spare time, so I thought I'd come on and show you guys how to do some basic balloon twisting. A good balloon twister has a balloon pump, a nice handy pair of scissors that I keep attached to my balloon pump because I can never find them when I need them. I need a Sharpie to do any Sharpie art at the end if I'm making a balloon animal or person of any kind. And lots and lots of balloons. All kinds and colors of balloons. So today, boys and girls, we are going to make two things that I hope to help to show you the different kind of twists that balloon artists use when they are making balloon projects. So the first thing we're going to do is a simple balloon sword. Today I'm going to start with a pink balloon. You've seen these balloons before. Party, party stores has, have packs of these balloons. When I buy my balloons though, I go to a party supply store and I get really high quality balloons because no one wants their balloon popping on them. And the ones you buy like in the grocery store will ultimately break. So if you really wanna start this as a project, you probably need to invest in some decent balloons um, so that you have some quality balloons to make. So I put the nozzle of the balloon on to the air pump and I put a bit more of the balloon on the air pump than you would think because I need to be able to tie the balloon closed at the very end. The sword that I'm about to make actually needs most of this balloon filled with air. But remember that once I start twisting, that air is gonna get displaced. So sometimes I've gotta leave a tail on my balloon. So let me get this one pumped up. And I'm gonna leave a tiny bit of air at the very end of my balloon. And you'll see how that fills up once I start twisting. From this end of my balloon, I'm gonna let a little bit of air out because I need the balloon to be nice and squishy. Squishy balloons won't break as easily as uh, balloons that are too tight. So make sure your balloon is nice and squishy, so let a little bit of air out if you need to. I'm gonna take the nozzle of my balloon, loop it around my fingers, and give it a nice tie. That takes some time to learn how to do, but 
you'll get it, okay? All right, so the first twist I wanna do is a petal twist because ultimately the balloon is gonna be coming back through this hole, so I need to have enough space to make that happen. I'm gonna twist these two pieces together and twist and spin it. Bring the nozzle of the balloon back through the hole to the other side and let it go. I'm going to then use, um, make a bubble twist. A bubble twist is exactly what it sounds like. I'm gonna make a bubble. So I'm gonna pinch off my balloon and spin this part in my left hand so that it locks the bubble in place. But if I let this go now, of course the bubble's gonna come undone. So I need to find a way to lock that bubble in place. And I do that by doing something called a pinch twist. So I bring the bubble over, I pull it out a little bit, and I twist it and twist it again. So now, I have a locked bubble on the end of my tulip twist, my um, petal twist, okay? Now, you'll see that my spare air area has gone down a bit. And that's because some of the air has pushed down from this part of the balloon and used up that's left here. I'm gonna now make five bubbles here in a chain of bubbles. So let's go. Four. I'm gonna push this down some. See that? Now I just have a little bit left. Notice that it's almost all gone, and if I push, it disappeared. So now I have my five. Again, don't let it go. I'm gonna take this end, squeeze it through here, and pull it up. Now I have a lovely sword that I can give to someone who'd like to, to um, do a bit of sword fighting. You see my pinch twist bubble here? That's locking all of this in place. I'm going to keep it nice and firm. So swords are very popular and very easy to make when you're first starting out to do them. And you'll make a lot of little boys really happy because they like to do sword fighting. But you have to remind them, balloons and grass don't mix. Get a lot of popped balloons out. Hi guys, my name is Jay Savage. Welcome back to the Funny Friday Show. Today's topic is dogs, so let me tell you some jokes. So, what kind of dogs chase anything that's red? A bulldog. <laughs> Next one. What do you call a cold dog? A chili dog. Last one. What kind of dog does Dracula have? A bloodhound. I hope you guys enjoy these jokes, and I'll see you later. Bye! Their popular majors are social studies, 